Happy New Year and welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Chelsea Bayarte. The astronauts in orbit celebrated their holiday season with some much deserved time off, a special holiday meal, and views of the first sunrise over Earth on New Year's Day out the window. But like many of us here on Earth, it was back to work this week aboard the International Space Station. The focus was science. So we know that space food isn't the most fresh, and we also know that prepackaged food has a tendency to lose vitamins and nutrients over time. One experiment called BioNutrients 2 aims to keep the astronauts healthy on long duration missions where fresh food is even harder to get. This is an experiment NASA astronauts are working on all this week with the goal of producing nutrients using a process similar to fermenting food. To run this experiment, they're using three things, yogurt, kefir, and a yeast-based beverage, and no, it's not beer. In addition to getting their nutrients through packaged food, astronauts sometimes get to play farmer and grow nutrient-rich crops to eat. Dwarf tomatoes are growing aboard the International Space Station's veggie vegetable production system. They're being grown under two different light sources to study the difference in fruit yield, nutritional composition, and microbial levels. Of course, astronauts get to eat their crops when their experiment is done, and they'll be asked to rate their flavor, texture, and juiciness. However, harvest time is not here yet, and the astronauts will spend this week checking on the plants and watering if necessary. Speaking of crops, how does microgravity affect the germination of carrot seeds, quinoa, or basil? The researchers hoping to learn more are actually students, and they don't all revolve around food either. There are 26 experiments in all, and the students are as young as fifth graders all the way up through the college level. NASA astronaut Frank Rubio and Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata will work on those for the students this week. This research is made possible by the cargo spacecraft that deliver them to the space station so the humans in orbit can begin working on them. Sometimes these space freighters can even deliver some science experiments back to their researchers on Earth for further evaluation. Early next week, SpaceX's 26 cargo resupply mission will depart the space station, bringing home its onboard science two days later. That's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks for watching. Keep up with all of these experiments and more by following at ISS underscore research on Twitter. You won't want to miss it.